chill Sunday stream. Let's see what else, what uh, else we got. Ooh, actually someone asked about the used market. So we could talk about, we could talk about this. That's for sure. All right, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to talk about the used Tesla Model Y market. And I just found something that looks like Tesla just discounted all their used Model Ys, or at least they did something to their used Model Ys. It just looks really funky. So we'll take a look at it, that's for sure. And we'll see if any of them are a good deal or are they a pass. Uh, but of course, you know, well, I'll give you my thoughts on it. And some of them look very interesting. A lot of them have full self-driving. So, you know, definitely some pretty interesting stuff. But if you're just joining on the channel, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on Tesla at the best possible price or just getting really good financing from your on your Tesla. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description if you want to support the channel, but more on that later. All right, so let's take a look at this. So Tesla, Tesla also sells used cars. And, uh, you know, for a while they were doing this thing where they would just release a bunch of them like fire sale all at once, uh, which that were like decent prices. And when we saw this a lot uh, happening a lot with the model three and we would see like standard ranges in like the 30 to $33,000 and he, as low as there was one standard range, like a 2017 or 2018 for like $25,000. And I'm talking like three to four months ago at this point, they would kind of release bunches, bunches of them at the same time. And so this is a great site. If you're looking for specifically used Tesla's from Tesla.com. And, you know, you might be asking, why would you want to buy a Tesla from Tesla.com or Tesla directly? And there's really only one benefit. And that benefit, of course, is this extra warranty that you get. It's an additional one year, 10,000 miles. But, you know, I really don't recommend, you know, buying a used Tesla that's close to the 50,000 mile mark or four year mark. I do try, I do recommend buying a Tesla that's two years old or one to two years old and like 20 to 30 thousand miles on it so you still have a good portion of that existing warranty left and so this is what's really interesting is if you take a look at this list this is evcpo great website where you can track new and used uh, but i like it different than i like it sometimes it's different than weighing for tesla because you can see it kind of more in this grid excel format so ev-cpo.com and what's interesting is uh there's what 25 or not even 25 vehicles on here there's 14 used Tesla Model Ys, and they all just came out of nowhere, and they're all standard range real wheel drive, which is weird, right? Because, you know, I don't even know if they were making standard rear wheel drives in 2021. They definitely were not advertising it. I'm wondering if these were all, you know, employee leases at some point, or maybe part of their employee fleet. But you can see right here, another thing that's also kind of interesting is that all of them have full self-driving capability, capability, which, you know, that could be any, I usually say that's valued anywhere from two to $3,000, even though it's a $15,000 option. I don't think it's worth that at all. But, you know, taking a look at this list, what's really cool is we can sort this by lowest possible price. And so the most expensive one for a used 2021 standard rear wheel drive model Y with full self-driving is 53. And the most cheapest or least inexpensive is this one for 50,400. And so the question is like, you know, this is basically the same price as a brand new Model Y standard range in 2023 because 2023 Model Y standard ranges, if you didn't know, you can actually buy one today. You can't order one, but you can buy one if you found the inventory. So going back to waitingfortesla.com, if we sort this by you know, Model Y all-wheel drive, you might not be able to find one, but there's one right here for 52,990. It's got $2,000 option with the induction rims. So the base price is 50,990. And so you're essentially, though the question is, do you pay, you know, 50,990 or 52,990 for a brand new 2023? Or do you buy one, a two year old one at this point with 30,000 miles, but you have the full self driving. I mean, this one's got the white interior. It also has Tony and it's got, it got tow hitch and the white interior. I, I'm not sure if this is a good deal because you got to remember on a brand new one, you get the tax credit $7,500 off. So this is really a $48,000, $49,000 car versus this price of 50,000. So 
essentially the, essentially the same price. I mean, you really have to value full self-driving a lot and or, you know, value. If you don't qualify for the tax credit, then it's, this is basically the same thing to you. So I could see, I can see where the case could be made that a 2021 Tesla Model Y, this one, this used one could make sense. But, you know, I'd really love it to be, you know, 2022 with like 20,000 miles or 15,000 miles for it to actually make some sense. Let's see if we could find one. Let's see, 20,000, 20, uh, they're all kind of high mileage. And I'm not sure any of these are 2022, but this must make sense. Now that I'm thinking about it, this must be all, you know, employee leases or test fleet or something that they bought it, used it. Well, no, they can't be, they can't be a test fleet because it wouldn't be registered. And so this all must be like, yeah, employee leases. They leased it for two to three years and now they're turning in. Tesla wants them to add some value and then bam, full self-driving. If these were like 45, 40, you know, low 40s. And of course that would make a lot of sense because it's two years old at this point, but definitely some pretty interesting stuff. So, you know, Tesla just got a wave of Tesla Model Ys. I'm not sure how many there were before this, but now there are 14, uh, well, okay priced, I would say, like it, for certain buyers that don't qualify for the tax credit. But uh, and the question is, did they also convert these? Were these all like long ranges before at a higher price? And they converted them to standard range uh, for sure. But just definitely some pretty interesting stuff. We can also see from EVCPO, there's a ton of Model 3s in inventory. Let's just see quickly what is the cheapest one available that's for sale used. Okay, so 30,900, 45,000 miles. Not too bad. I guess not too bad. I would love to see 25 to 30K. But, uh, you know, this one's okay. No full self-driving, nothing. Yeah, I would pass on this one. Just fine. I mean, there's plenty of examples out there. I would say 2020, 2021 with full self-driving. I think that was the best deal that was sent to me. It was like had 30,000 miles with full self-driving for 33. And I think it was in like Vegas or something like that. It probably sold relatively quickly because that is a pretty good deal. So, we're going to jump into some of the comments and some of the questions, but, you know, definitely if you're in the market for a used one, you know, it is a decent time to buy. I would say maybe wait a couple more weeks into February, but do not wait until March or April because that's tax refund time and people like to buy stuff when they get their tax refund. That's for sure. So we're going to jump into some of the comments and some of the questions. But before we get into that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down below in the description, there's a Patreon link where you can support the channel and there's a variety of benefits, but some of them include actually scheduling a call with me where you can ask me any questions about buying a Tesla, selling a Tesla, or even financing a Tesla. And after you join the Patreon, you get a link to my buying guide, which has links to all the resources that I use to get the best possible deal at the best possible price. And right now on that guide, there are what, three to four credit unions on the list that have interest rates anywhere from three to 3.89% for 60 months. So definitely check that out if you're interested. But you know, you don't even have to do that. I've made tons of videos in the past about Tesla financing. So definitely check out on the channel. And I will make a updated Tesla financing video this week where I give all the information and knowledge because that's what I'm here for. I feel like that's uh, the point of the channel is that so everybody can get a good deal on a Tesla at the best price and really just best financing at the end of the day. And well, as an added benefit, I do respond to all DMs in the Patreon app to anybody that asks a question. So let's jump into some of the comments. Does Tesla give any discounts off their accessories? No, unfortunately not. But uh, speaking of discounts, Tamai and Jawa does. The one thing I do like about Tamai and Jawa is that, I mean, you've probably, everybody's probably seen this, but when you go to Amazon, there's what, a ton of, of Tesla accessories and you don't even know what's good or what's not. But the good thing with Tamai and Jawa is that they only really sell what's useful and what's actually good and good quality, you know, plastic accessories. I mean, it is plastic, right? And so that's why I do appreciate Tamai and Jawa. And if you want to save a little bit, there you go. There's my discount codes uh, down below or right there in the middle. I've actually exclusively only have, I have a box full of Tamai and Jawa stuff over that that I will use. And that does remind me, I am going to be running a giveaway on that financing video. So definitely watch it out uh, for that. And I think we're going to give away something pretty nice. Uh, not not some, you know, measly Tamai, you know, or Jawa accessory, but it's going to be, you know, something everybody uses, something that goes like this, that plugs into the car that uh, everybody, uh, hopefully everybody that's on the channel uses. Uh, that's for sure. What line are 